Well, folks, it's a great morning. The sun is up. We are so lucky. Ty brought the last bit of cookies out of his tent. His wife made these just for us. And yesterday, we are so lucky that Clayton showed up and he's going to help pack out. I'm pretty sure a strapping guy like him could probably pack that whole, whole elk if I needed it. But we're going to go extract that thing today. We're going to come and break down camp. And then we're going to drop a couple thousand feet out of this wilderness area down to the truck. And I'm going to go buy everyone steak and beer or whatever, whiskey or whatever they want. Well, last night we loaded Marcus down with about 130 pounds of production gear and equipment. And Ty and I took, what did we take? The heart, the liver, Backstrap. the back straps, the tenderloins, tenderloins, and all the trim meat. All the, all the grain. So still hanging up there are the front quarters, both of those, both hind quarters, and the head. So we're going to go up there, we're going to bone those out because getting all the meat, our camps, and everything else out of here is going to be a challenge. So that's the sequence which in, we, in which we do it. Now we know why there were turkey hunters up here. Nice and cool. Oh, it's got that crust. Yeah. Got down into the 20s last night. Of course, we're up here at probably, I don't know, 10, 6. Guess I'll find out. want that joint down there for that, what do you call that? Sabuco. Sabuco? Oso. 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 Buco. Huh. You tell how much of it I've eaten. You can see that femur in there. If I am close to the pickup, I have started packing out the uh, the bones for bone broth. Oh, really? Yeah. And well, like, you can listen to podcasts and there's talk about how healthy that stuff is. So. Does it put hair on your head? <laughs> no. In fact, not having hair on your head makes you faster, Randy. Really? Yeah. You can get through the woods faster. Huh. That's my problem then. All right. There you go, folks. Let's show them what that is. This was, we started with the ball joint up here. We took all the muscles off there. Here's the knee joint. I'll go and get the kneecap or whatever that is off there. I don't think anyone wants to eat this kneecap, do they? Maybe Wade eats kneecaps. <laughs> That's there, the new trophy. So there might be some. Some new <laughs> ivory. There you go. Some new ivory. <laughs> Something to make jewelry out of. <laughs> Trying to fit Dolly Parton in the training right. bra. Yeah. This one's one that grabbed the close to me. There we go. Okay. Thank you.
bit deeper. What am I doing? Standing on one of my straps out. It's pretty hard to lift yourself up off the ground. Talk about it. Oh, there just used to be some Basque sheep herders up here. So all through these benches and ridges you find carvings from the 1930s, 1960s where they just had nothing to do but watch sheep and make little carvings and drawings like this. Is that a you just find that flyer? yeah, a dragonfly or something, you just find them carved on the aspen. Pretty cool. 1967, is that 67? Yeah. Not that long ago. Pretty cool. No, not very. Was around when Randy was born. Feels good. Yeah. This will be interesting to see if we can get an elk, all of our camp gear, all of our production gear off this mountain, a couple thousand feet down and a few miles away and do it all in one trip. It's gonna be heavy. We have llamas that will help, but they can only carry so much going downhill, so everybody here is gonna be completely exhausted by the time we get to camp, or to the truck. Folks, we're at the trailhead, a very busy trailhead with about 150 pounds of America's finest protein, all off of your public land. Thanks for following along. Oh, oh, <laughs> 150 pounds, 200, and feels like 300 right now. <laughs> it better taste as good as I think it will taste. Oh. Oh my. Thank you. Thanks for watching. I need a Dairy Queen. <laughs> Bad. <laughs>